So this is why I'm, I'm wearing the same top because obviously it's the same day and um, it's like literally like 5 or 10 minutes apart from when I did the last video. So I think my battery, my battery's got like one life left so I need to go through the items as quick as possible so I hope this video isn't going to be too long. So for foundations I want to pan this one and it's the Flawless Fix Beauty Balm. Now I have had this forever. Um, it might have gone off if it oxidises or anything like that. I'm just going to bin it. Um, I don't even know what shade it is. It's just the um, Beauty Balm Foundation by Look Beauty. Do you remember when there was that magazine out called Look? Um, I don't know if they still do it. Um, but yeah, that's basically a foundation by that company. So I do want to get rid of that. I have had it a few well i'd say probably a couple of years um i got it in berry in manchester and i don't know how often they rotated their stock so that definitely needs to go this was another one i thought i had more foundation in it than i did i absolutely adore this foundation and i will talk about it more on a different video um and it's the um, Dior Star Foundation. Now this is the only high-end one I've got in my collection. Really, really like it, and I would definitely repurchase it going forward. It's in the shade 012. Um, what else? We have another foundation here. I'm just trying to get um, rid of the older ones. Really, I mean, I don't have too many newer ones. Um, they're all pretty like about a year old or something like that and this one is the number seven instant radiance foundation it's the radiant boost for tired stressed skin well hello um <laughs> yeah I'm be i've been feeling a bit stressed lately and a bit run down etc 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 i'm coming down with loads of colds and flus so yeah i mean not that this is gonna help but i've not got that much left and it's in the shade cool ivory um so yeah with this though, um, because it's too dark, you can see it's too dark, um, I have to actually put these white, the whitening drops from um, the body shop. These are so, so good. Well, they're called lightning drops actually. Um, and I know that quite a few different brands do these now. So I definitely need to get some more when, I've just dropped something, when um, I've run out of these. Um, you get 15ml, which is an an awful lot of product um, and they're the shade adjusting drops and they also do them in darker not that I would need darker unless I self tanned and um, so it might be worth having them in because every time I self tan I have to go out and get a darker foundation to match but if I got the darker drops um, then I just need to put them in the foundation that I'm using so yeah I really do like them and like I said I will have to repurchase that at some point um, then I spoke yesterday about this product here and it's just the Revlon Colour Stay Powder. This basket is going to drop. Um, let's open it so you can see it. So that's what that looks like. I'm, I'm hitting serious pan with it. I use this every day. I've used it today um, and then I've gone over it. I've gone over um, my powders with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders it's really really good and it works well with them powders as well so yeah that's that one right then we've got some liners so we've got this essence cosmetics natural is it silky nude um these liners this one in particular is really really good i really like it for the waterline so i do want to pan this i don't want them to go bad and a lot of them are going dry um, then I have this Rimmel Exaggerate in um, Call Me Crazy. Now this is the perfect orange toned red. If you're like me and you love orange toned reds, you love, love, love this. Um, I love these lip liners from Rimmel, the Exaggerate ones, are without a shadow of a doubt my favourite lip liner that I've tried this far. Um, all the other ones seem to drag on my lips and make them a little bit dry, but these ones are so, so perfect. Um, so yeah, I want to pan that. Then I have another red liner. Um, it's not so much 
red um, as the other one. I mean, it's obvious, obviously a red liner, but it's not as um, orange toned as the previous one. So I want to um, pan this as well because I do have a backup of that. I think I've got about two of those particular two in that particular shade. I do absolutely love the Primark liners, um, I'm not going to lie. I've not tried the eyeliners so much but I've tried the lip liners and I've also tried the brow products and I really really do like them. Um, so yeah I would definitely say you know if you're after something budget then go to Primark. I mean their makeup is amazing and it's getting better and better um, and also like the products are a hit and miss, like for instance the sponges, they're very much hit and miss, I don't like them, I have tried quite a few different ones so it's not like I've only tried one variety, um, but yeah I really didn't get on with them. The last liner I want to um, basically use up is this Colourpop in the shade Aquarius, it's part of the Kathleen Lights line. Hi guys, so I'm back, um, so I'm hoping, I've, I've just charged my battery for about, I think about 40-50 minutes, I'm hoping I'm going to have enough life to at least finish this um, video for you. Um, so I think I was saying that I want to get this one out of my collection, um, it's the Colourpop Aquarius, so I won't talk too much about this, it's just really really drying up, so I want to get that out. So yep there's that one and then there's this eyeliner that i found in my um urban decay smoke palette and it's the 24 7 glide on eye pencil in the shade perversion now i didn't think i liked this but i used it yesterday um and i absolutely really really like it so i want to get this out of my collection sorry if you hear my notifications going off in the background there i forgot to turn my phone off um, this one is an actual um, item that I panned and I spoke about this in yesterday's video and it's the 16 hour long lasting concealer from Essence. Is that picking up? I don't know if it's picking up but um, it's the Essence Stay All Day 16 hour long lasting concealer in 10 natural beige. Um, so that's panned, um, so that was one of the items that I wanted to pan um, like before February so I've hit my target there. Well before it so I'm going to put another concealer in. Um, so each product that I managed to pan before the deadline I'll pop a, a product of that nature in um, and see if I can actually pan them. Right, so what have we got in here? We've got the bronzer, the honeycomb bronzer from the body shop. I absolutely love this, love the packaging. I have had it a long, long time now, guys. Um, as you can see, I have hit pan on it. Even the packaging is very, very flimsy now, um, so it does need to go out of the collection. Really like it though, it's in the shade 2, don't know if that will even pick up, but that's the shade I got. I think you get 3 or 4 shades in it, um, and I got the second lightest obviously, because of my skin tone. Then we have some Colourpop shadows that I want to pan. Um, so first of all we've got this one that I've hit the most pan on and it's in the shade Glow and I'm almost positive it's one of Kathleen Light's eyeshadows. I'm not 100% um, but that's what it looks like at the minute. I have hit series pan on it and don't think I'll have any issues in finishing that by February. Um, then we have this Kathleen Light's eyeshadow by Colourpop. Um, so that looks like that. It really is a beautiful eyeshadow. I spoke about this yesterday because these eyeshadows I'm going to be using going forward this week. They are part of my makeup basket like most of the items in here. Um, just because I do actually want to use them up. And then I have um, this shade here. Um, so this one is in the shade Cheap Date, a really, really pretty gold. I wish um, I would have known what I needed to do. It was flaky, it was crumbling, half of this came out here. Um, so what I needed to do is put some like oil inside it. Like I used the Nukes oil that I got in my um, Birch box. 
um, and I just basically swirled it around the eyeshadow and now it's super super pigmented I'll just show you how pigmented it is I wish I could have shown you how not pigmented it was to begin with um, but that's it there that one there really really pretty um, so yeah they're the three eyeshadows that I'm focusing on panning in fact no there is one more I think that's in the bathroom though still and it is in the shade hanky panky and I have hit a little bit of pan on that so that's going to be um, coming in here as well then I've got three other eyeshadows two in particular that I want to be using quite a lot between now and February and that's the Astralis ones I have had these a while and the cream eyeshadows and you can't use cream eyeshadow cream eyeshadows for that long um, and these came from a best friend in Australia and obviously I don't want them to go bad because she spent her hard hard earned money on them so we've got the shade JZ which is a lovely lovely bronze eyeshadow um, really really like it I like them both she knows me so so well um, and then I have the guns and rose petal so it's just basically a really really nice pretty um, rose gold shade and you can wear them together or you can wear them like separately and then we have um, the Steeler metallic laurel I've had this a while as well and considering I'm trying to use these cream products up I thought I would use this one up um, and this one is really really pretty really sparkly um, so yeah I mean this would go so so nice with this top I'm wearing um, but yeah they're the single eyeshadows I definitely want to try and use up between now and February so let's just take these out right so then we've got two of the moon dust the light cream eyeshadows um and this one is in the shade chemtrail and guys i absolutely love this i'm going to try and swatch these for you but i'm wearing this one today over an eyeshadow from the too faced not too faced i use too faced that often um urban decay shadow box and there's a shade in there called I've forgotten the sh I've forgotten the name something cowboy anyway um that's a shade here and this one is called chemtrail um, and that's what the eyeshadow looks like so yeah I don't know if you can see that um but I've, I'm wearing it off baked cowboy I think it's called yeah I'm almost certain it's called baked cowboy um and so that looks really really nice over any golden eyeshadow that you've got in your collection i want to get rid of these out of the collection because i've had them a while um and then i've got this one um under the urban decay liquid moon dust shadows if you are interested i barely barely got any use out of this so i need to try and find some shadows in my collection i think it will go really nice with bronze eyeshadows um this is in the shade solstice then we have some brow products so we'll just quickly go through these now so I want to pan this which is the MUA brow define tinted brow mascara so it just looks like that um, I really do like it I didn't pay a lot for it at the time but I've had it again quite a long time the, the items that I'm choosing to pan I've had a long time and I just need them out of the collection so I can use some of the newer products um, I don't like the brush on that I will be honest so I've been using this Benefit Gimme Brow brush it's a really really nice brush um, so it's just like that and there's no product left in here so I'm able to use this I will keep this in the collection when I've used this just so I can use the brush on other products um mascaras i'm not going to be using any of the mascara until i've got this one out of my collection i got it um with birch box i want to, yeah i'm almost positive i got it in a birch box when i was subscribed to them i've not been subscribed to them for it must be like a year or something um just because i changed my subscription over i now am with deck of scarlet and i couldn't afford to do both so yep yeah, um really really enjoy using this i absolutely adore um 
the brush the brush is really really nice and it coats every single lash i know most mascara is meant to do that um but this gives you that really nice volumizing effect so i'm wearing it today um and it's the punk volumizing mascara if i ever saw this in like a full-size version of it i probably would buy it because i really do enjoy it um then we've got this this little thing here that doesn't want to go anywhere can i open it right yeah so basically i've just sharpened it um there's not really going to be much product left in here i basically obviously panning it like the rest of the items um but that won't last me till february i've got a kiko one um that will be going in here once i've used that and there's just this isn't going to be panning, um, it's a lipstick I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the Revolution Rain Lip Liner, um, that's in my makeup basket, but I just wanted to talk to you about this one. And I spoke about this yesterday, um, it's in the shade Rebirth. Um, and I absolutely adore it. I'm wear like I said, I'm wearing it today. It looks really, really nice with this look. Looks really natural. I'm going to the hospital with my mum. She's got an appointment um, to see a specialist. So yeah, I'm taking her to the hospital today. So I needed a natural looking lipstick, and um, this is the one that I chose. Um, like I said, it's in the shade Rebirth. Really, really pretty packaging. I don't know if the revolution symbol's going to show up. It's just here. Um, I really do like these revolu revolution lipsticks. A lot of people at the time were kicking off so, so badly um, when they first came out with them. I think these are, what, £4 or £5? They'll be no more than £5 because revolution lipsticks aren't. I've got about four or five of these in my collection um, from nude to a red. I've got the classic red that they brought out. And like I said, everyone was kicking off at the time just because they're so similar to Charlotte Tilbury's lipsticks. Um, to be honest, I mean, you can't really you can't really tell a difference um, except for the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are more matte. Well, the ones I've got are more matte, um, and I did I didn't do a comparison in my charlotte tilbury video of um the lipsticks that i had i kind i kind of briefly spoke about it i didn't want to do a comparison at that point because it was still really raw and i didn't want to get anyone's backups um like because charlotte tilbury does have a lot of like people that love her products and i'm one of them you know i will put it out there i've only found one product of hers that i didn't like and everyone loves that product and it's that is that powder um that really finely milled powder of hers i just couldn't get on board with it i didn't like it um and to me i know you're probably gonna say it's not true but to me you know the revlon one that i'm using at the moment um basically is just as good and also the rimmel one the rimmel one's what three four pound um the revlon one is is I don't know, probably about eight pounds, and I would rather spend that than thirty, thirty-five pound on a just on a setting powder, um, or I'd rather get an hourglass one. I mean, I'm wearing the hourglass products today, and I really, really like the look um, that it's given me. I didn't think you could tell, but because I've got this um, kind of light on my camera, I like my complexion looks so much clearer. I mean, I've got a really nice skin anyway. I've got a good complexion anyway um but it looks better today you know i really really like the way it's looking um really really recommend those powders like i said i wouldn't i wouldn't necessarily recommend you go out and, and pay like i think the 42 pound just for a just for one i would recommend you get the trio of powders and i think that's 59 or you can get a palette of three powders and three blushes for 69 that is going to be the better option but i got mine when um the, they didn't have the six panner out so you know i have it a while um but yeah i really like those six pan um products but to be honest like let me just show you let me just show you so this is basically the hourglass one 
um, that I've got. So I think this one was 59. Um, I will I will um, have a look on the Cool Beauty or Space and K and just get you the correct price. Um, really, really do like them. I use all these products. I'm not working on panning it, um, but I will be using it a lot. I've been using it a lot these well over this last week. Um, so yeah, really like them. And also with that. So with this palette you get dim light, incandescent light and radiant light. Now I spoke about this before so I don't want to go into too much detail. I might do a little try on in another video. And then I've got this Hourglass blush in dim infusion. Dim infusion. Dim infusion. It's such a a stunning blush I definitely want to get more of these in 2019 and they do the travel size ones for £22 on Cult Beauty now to be honest go, going through a product this size would take a lot um, I don't know if the travel size ones are going to be the same size as this I've got a feeling they might be um, but even like one of those powders will take you a long time to get through um, so does it say doesn't say how much products in there does it say how much products in here I think it's all worn off oh Four point two grams in that. And then there's not point one one six ounces and three point three three point three grams so times three. So I'm not hundred percent sure on how many how much you actually get in the travel size um blushes. Tell you what, let's let's um have a look at it now. Let me just stop this video, I'll have a look at it and I'll come back. Right, so I've had a look um, on Cult Beauty. So here are the powders. Can you even see that? Um, they're, not, they're not the same amounts. Um, so basically, in this ambient um, lighting palette, the 3.3 grams. Um, and these ones are... 1.3 grams so it's a significant drop but um the way i see it is i don't use a lot of blush um and these ones you don't really need that much blush if you just want a natural look um this one is the one that i want um basically yeah i see it's the luminous flush one i think these are great um if you're not sure whether you're gonna like the product or not so it's it's really really good for that and they also do the strobe what are they called the only thing is they don't actually do the powders in travel size which i think is a shame um they do the hourglass ambient strobe lighting powder which I'm just going to show you. You all probably know what it looks like. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. So that looks like that. Um, so they do them. And they do the shades. Let's have a look. Incandescent strobe light. Brilliant strobe light. And euphoric strobe light. Now for me, I probably need incandescent strobe light. Um, just because it's the lightest shade. Or it looks like it's the lightest shade. And then um, they do... Come on. Sorry about this. They do the travel size bronzers these are all 22 pound by the way guys so that's what the bronzer looks like and then they have three different shades in the bronzers so for each different skin tones so you can get luminous bronze light um diffused bronze light and radiant bronze light and i'd probably get the radiant one it looks a little bit dark i've looked at the diffused bronze light but Mm, I'd probably get the radiant one just because I like a little bit of a glow um, but yeah I mean I don't know between now and next year I'm going to be picking up one every two months or something like that so I'm going to start with the blush and give you an update on that 
I know I'm not um, doing, I'm only like, I'm not really picking up much makeup. Um, I'm doing that no buy, um, like from now till November. But I think, like, because I'm getting Christmas money, um, that's not really something I'm buying, or that's the way I'm, you know, I'm thinking about it. So the Christmas money I get, I will purchase probably some items and um, let you know what I purchased and what I think about them. Um, but yeah, these are items that basically, you know, I've wanted to try for a while. Um, they are expensive. I'm only even thinking about maybe getting them because um, the travel size and obviously there's hardly going to be any product in them just because, I mean, I thought maybe they would be about this size um, because the other... Um, the other powders are a lot bigger aren't they so I thought maybe it would be this size but I'm going to be lucky if I get half that product I mean if that's 3.3 grams then the other ones are 1.3 grams so it's going to it's going to be less than half of that product um but like I said it's probably not going to matter um because I've got a ton of blushes in my collection and also um it's just to try I mean I might not even like them so um, I'd rather pay £22 than I think if ones are either 42 let's have a look I think the other ones are like £42 I'm not 100% though I think they're The 45 well the blushes the ambient lighting blushes are only 35 I say only um, but it's a lot it's a lot more it's a lot less than the powders so the powders are 42 which is what I thought so the powders are 42 the blushes are 35 um, and in the blusher Where is it gone? In the blusher you get 4.2 gram of product for an extra, what, 13 pound? Um, so if it is good, obviously, you know, there's, there's, think about that. Um, so, and there are quite a lot of shades, um, and then the bronzer at uh, the full price is 45 see I don't get that why is the bronzer and the powder 45 well for the bronzer is more than the powder which the powders are cult products um so the bronzer is 45 then you've got all the powders at 42 and then you've got the um, blushes at 35 why are the blushes so much cheaper than the rest of the products um if if you know, can you leave me a comment down below because I'm completely new to Hourglass. Um, but yeah, they've got so many nice products, guys. I mean, I really, really like this. Um, and it's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit in Volume 4. Um, now, make life your runway. Um almost positive um that's her channel i've been watching her relig well not religiously but i've been watching her a lot since i found her channel and she uses this um and it's such a pretty product so like i said earlier you've got the free powders and then you've got the free blushes um let me see can i zoom that oh right so that's what that looks like if I don't know if this camera is picking it up. Um, I can't even find my glasses, which isn't great. So that's what the powders look like. Let me see if it tells you what powders you get in there. Mm. It just says, Volume 4 unveils six shades of the brand's beloved powder housed in a limited edition pink palette or six soft focus metallic hues ranging from champagne and peachy rose gold to earthy bronzes. Um, so, 
obviously you get a bronzer, you get a peach blusher, um, and then you get like a pinky magenta one as well there, and it looks like, looks like that's dim infusion there, um, that maybe is radiant one there, and I don't know which one that is there, um, but I'm not 100% sure, I might just, um, reach out to my friend and just say I've been speak speaking about it and she might just let me know what um you get at, what shades you get in the palette speak Andrea god what's wrong with you um it would oh description it might say there oh okay so volume four capturing six of the most flattering light forms from dim light to euphoric fusion the rich ethereal illuminating powder will make you feel like you have a personal lighting technician at your disposal thanks to the groundbreaking photoluminescent technology the ambient lighting edit captures diffuses and softens surrounding light filtering out harsh beams to blur the visibility of imperfections pores and wrinkles leaving skin looking softer more youthful and beautiful lit from within you're sure to fall in love with all six we certainly already have and I'll be honest with you I I hadn't like figured out how to use this up until recently this one um, and I really really do like it more than when I first got it um, it's such a beautiful palette um, and basically I use all three shades um, so I use this one here like once I've set um, I put a powder on and like at the moment I'm using that Revlon one to obviously pan it so then what I do is go in with a big fluffy brush and use this all over the face and then I go in with a tiny brush and just use it to set my concealer um this one so that one is dim light so we're talking dim light there and that's what I do there and then incandescent light has a little bit of a sheer it has a little bit of like some particles in it um I wouldn't say it's glitter, you know, but it does like, it is a little bit shiny, so I use that as my highlight. Um, so I've got it like as a highlight here, and then there's a little bit on my nose. And then this, this one here is radiant light. And with radiant light, what I basically do is when I put my bronzer on, I go over the top of it with radiant light just to give it that um, kind of like glow. I would say um but yeah this is really really good if I didn't have this I would definitely be looking at getting um the the one with the six in it just as a Christmas present from everyone because you know I don't need a lot I certainly don't need any more makeup um but I don't have that and I would want to try it um but yeah this is this is absolutely brilliant I would say if you didn't have it I would say probably get the other one because it's only ten pound more um so and you'll be able to try three of the blushes yeah three of the powders as well um so yeah i mean i do like this but like if i run out of it or when i run out of it i will be purchasing full size of one of the palettes they come out with them every christmas i believe um so i probably won't be getting it for a few christmases because i don't need it but yeah um that's basically my thoughts on it um but this is everything for now um thank you for watching it means so so much to me um if if you like these kind of videos these chit chatty kind of videos where i do not shut up um please like please subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye